What's up guys, Parker here. As you may know, Power BI was just updated and it now allows you to drill through from, from one report to another. At first, I didn't think this was gonna be that great of a feature, but then I realized this actually serves a big purpose. Uh, it'll allow you to kind of set up a little bit more security around your reporting. So for example, imagine I have this summary report. So it just shows high level statistics of this data. So basically my revenue and budget uh, summarized based on product line or summarized based on product type, but it's not gonna show you that detailed data. Let's say I also have another report, this, call, uh, this detail report, and it does show me that detailed data. So now it's showing each uh, specific order line. So this is order number 33, how, uh, what quantity was ordered, what the revenue was. So specific detailed data. Let's say as a manager, I wanna be able to see this detailed data, but I don't want my employees to see this kind of level of detail. I only want them to see the summary report. We can now set up drill through from the summary to detail report, but not actually give them access to the detail report. So it's kind of serving that purpose of uh, keeping things secure, but not having to um, create multiple, multiple reports for your different users that have different access. This is different than row level security because row level security is gonna allow you to restrict the actual data that's shown to them, not the actual report that's shown. So we're gonna restrict what they can see based on a report level. So just to give you a little uh, preview of what we're gonna be building, if we go to the summary report, all of these have drill through connected to the detail tab. So just for an example, on this, uh, on this chart here, I can right click, drill through to detail. Uh, this is the detail tab of my detail report. So since it's drilling through to a different report, uh, it is uh, the report name is surrounded by brackets. So I can click that and it'll take me directly to the detail tab. Uh, just a quick heads up, there isn't a way that I know of to get back to the summary tab. So I've gone ahead and added a button here that just has a link and the link is just the report URL. So it'll take you right back to the summary report and we can exit out of the detail report. So I'm gonna show you how to set up that drill through from one report to the next and show you how it is used to kind of separate who should see what report. So I'm gonna to go to Power BI Desktop. So I have my summary report open. I actually don't have to do anything on this report. I only need to open up the detail report and uh, switch on this little toggle right here. So if you click on the page, just click off of any of the visuals, you'll see cross report. We wanna to toggle that on and then that'll add uh, that'll allow us to add as many items we want to our drill through uh, drill through well. So it says add drill through fields here. So let's say we wanted product line, product type, uh, maybe retailer country, and retailer type. So now all of these are in our drill through filters. So we have four, um, cat, uh, four fields in our drill through filters. We can publish this up. I'm not going to since I already have it there. The only other thing you have to do to set up that cross report filtering is going to your report itself, our summarized report now, so our parent report. And under the settings here, uh, if you scroll down, there's cross report drill through. By default, this is turned off. So I had to turn mine on. Go ahead and save. So now when you click on summary report, if you have any items on the summary report that match the fields that you added to the drill through well of your detailed, um, your detail report, then you can right click and drill through and drill through that detail report. So I added product line, I added product type. So I'm able to drill through there. This is, I believe, retailer type, so I can drill through here as well. So a bunch of places to drill through, through that, to that detail tab. But the last step in order to make this a little bit more secure so that our employee can't see the detail tab, we can go to our report. I've already shared this with an employee. We can check our access by going to this little share button. And I have already provided it um, to my employee. But if that employee didn't have access, we can share just by adding that employee here, giving them access uh, to read that report. But we don't do so with the detail report. So when we click share, you see that I have not provided access to that employee. So I'm the only one who can actually see this report. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with um, that employee's credentials so that you can see what they would see. So now I'm logged in with that employee's credentials. And as you can see, I don't have access to the workspace. 
So uh, this user is not in, uh, an admin or a member or a contributor of the workspace because that would allow them um, all of the permissions to view all of the reports, which we don't want. We only want them to be able to see that summarized report, but they can go to shared with me and see that um, they can see the list of reports that are shared with them. So in the summary report, it's the exact same summary report, but you'll notice when you right click, you aren't able to drill through. So they don't have access to that detail tab and they're not able to drill through from the summary tab to the detail tab. So that effectively separates users that should see the summarized data and the detailed data or just users that should see the summarized data. And this is important because now we don't have to create multiple, multiple reports uh, that cover the same kind of topics to share or to um, divide between the users. Originally, what I'd have to do is create a summarized report uh, for just the users that are supposed to see summarized data. And then you have to create another report that has summarized and detailed data if you wanted to have that drill through functionality. So this is a lot cleaner and allows you just to have two reports and separate them based on their access and who should be able to view them. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.